Hello everyone, I got excited for these new cards in the Sacred Beast Structure deck, and because Gaia was revealed at the same day, I decided to do this video separately. So let's get started. Our first card is Ravio, Lord of Phantasms, Shimmering Scraper. So it's a level 10, Dark Fiend, with 4000 attack and defense, and its effect is, must be summoned by triggering 3 monsters, so at least it doesn't have the Fiend restriction like the original. Second effect, quick effect. Once per turn, you can discard this card and then target one Ravia Lord of Phantasms. And then for the rest of the turn, its attack is doubled and it can attack all your opponent's monsters once each. And then second effect, once per turn, if this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one monster and add this to your hand. I believe the idea is to tribute tokens to gain this back. It's not too bad, although Raviel is kind of hard to get out. Although the new cards make it easier for it to get out, so... On to the next card, Dark Beaconing Beast. It's a level 2 Dark Fiend monster with 0 attack and defense, and its effect is when normal summon, you can add one of each sacred beast from your deck to your hand, or a card with the text on them, except for itself. This effect can only be used once per turn. Second effect, during your main phase, you can normal summon one additional fiend monster with 0 attack and defense, aka Dark Summoning Beast. And now to the spell, Cerulean Skyfire. It's a continuous spell, and its effect is, when summoning a Haman, you can also send face down spell cards you control to summon it. So now you don't need to run a deck full of continuous spells, and you could just send face down spells instead. Second effect, once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell on trap while your Haman attacks, you can negate that effect and then change your Haman to defense. Uh... Why change it to defense in the middle of battle? Third effect, if one of your sacred beast cards leaves the field, you take no damage for the rest of the turn. That's actually not too bad, but they're all going to have huge attacks, so it might be hard for them to get rid of, other than by card effects. And now to the trap, we got Hyper Blaze. It's a continuous trap, and its first effect is, to summon Uriah just like Haman, you can send face down traps along or without face up traps. Second effect, when an attack involving Uriah, you can send one trap from your hand or deck, and its attack becomes times 1000 equal to the number of traps on the field and graveyard. And I believe it replaces its current attack for its effect. I mean, it's definitely going to have more attack due to having face-up traps as well along with this card, so... Third effect. Once per turn, you can discard one card, take one of your sacred beasts from your graveyard, and add it to your hand or special summon it, Ignoring its conditions. For a discard, you get back one big beater. Okay, this card's really good. You gotta play it. You know, after seeing these cards, I might actually be tempted to build Sacred Beasts. I mean, I always like their design. Yes, I know they're ripoffs of Egyptian gods. But Sacred Beasts always appeal to me a lot more. Because they're edgier. 